Okay, well, I think the first thing to understand is that uh, the aorta is really the main blood vessel that carries oxygenated blood from the heart to, to the rest of the body. And um, uh, as part of the life cycle of uh, a certain type of parasite uh, that commonly affects uh, equine, uh, those uh, various stages migrate through some of the main blood vessels. Uh, uh, some of which uh, supply blood to the intestinal tract and some to other parts of the body. Uh, when we have, when those parasites migrate, uh, they tend to cause irritation, inflammation, sometimes damage to the lining of the vessels. Uh, that can result in a couple of different uh, entities. One may result in a thrombus or a blood clot that may plug some of the small vessels. The other thing that it may cause is a ballooning of the vessel and that's what we call an aneurysm uh, where that vessel then is weakened uh, with exercise, whether that be exercise of a horse running in the pasture, a pony club jumping, a race horse running, or a chuck wagon horse. Uh, if, if the uh, aneurysm ruptures, then we have a catastrophic bleed out uh, into the abdominal cavity and that in fact uh, was what happened with the horse this morning. It happens really in, in every uh, you know athletic uh, equine athletic sport. Uh, it could happen to a stallion dismounting after breeding. It could happen to I think the most famous uh, one that most people would relate to is the famous jump at show jumping horse Hickstead that uh, died after competing and that would, was the same sort of a syndrome. It's uh, Strongylus vulgaris. And this horse hadn't competed here in Calgary. Uh, you know, I don't know if this horse had competed up to this point in time. The one thing I can tell you is that you cannot, there's no way of identifying this. Uh, these horses, this, this horse in particular was unbelievably fit and healthy looking. Had just a tremendous bloom to its hide. And, and I think that that happens in, in uh, most horses that are affected with this. It does not affect the health in any way. And so one of the huge challenges is to try and identify horses that might have a condition similar to this. And right now, even if we could do a, a total body MRI, uh, we wouldn't be able to identify these. So um, maybe as research uh, goes on, we'll be able to find markers that would identify conditions like that. But uh, unfortunately, this is one of those things that uh, really only gets diagnosed on the postmortem table. You've already done a necropsy? The, the necropsy has been done, yes. Uh, this, the necropsy was uh, done by Dr. Jan Bystrom, who's the uh, pathologist at the University of Calgary. I'll just mention something for clarification. That horse last uh, competed at the Pinocchio Stampede about a week ago. Okay. And, and secondly, I'll just mention we happen to have the Calgary Humane Society here on Park doing a tour today, and uh, we briefed them on the, uh, the incident, um, and they were quite uh, satisfied and, and interested with the, with the explanation. I'm sorry, if I could ask one more time the name of the parasite? Strongylus vulgaris. Bulgarian fullback in the World <laughs> Cup. Okay. And it causes uh, essentially an aneurysm? Yes, so the, the parasite, part of the, the larval stage of the life cycle burrows through the wall of the intestinal tract, it ends up uh, in the blood vessels, and, and then makes its way back into the intestinal tract to complete the life cycle. The life cycle is completed uh, out on pasture, and so horses ingest the you know larval stages uh, when they're grazing. Um, and so the way that uh, it's controlled is through uh, deworming programs uh, using a variety of antelmintics. And uh, I can tell you that these horses here, I, I know and work with a lot of the drivers. They use very extensive uh, deworming programs, uh, many times deworming these horses every six weeks to two months. So if this is picked up through the where they graze, does the, the, the driver whose horse this was need to 
take a good hard look at where he's grazing his animals? No, I think wherever you have horses, you have parasites like this. And so it's, it's all about nutrition management. It's about uh, deworming management. And uh, I think that uh, it's, it's always going to be a management issue. And uh, I would consider these drivers to be managing at the, at the highest level, but we still can't eliminate that completely. I know that the pathologists are going to do some detailed histopathology to look at the, the tissues where the aneurysm occurred and uh, hoping that they can identify, you know, the, uh, and, and uh, confirm that it is a parasitic related aneurysm. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks. I appreciate that.